Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be about our trip out to the southwest. I took this trip back in June with my family. We flew into Vegas. And I had a lot of inquiries on YouTube and with my friends and family saying, Hey, you know, put something together on the different places you went to, the things you saw. So we started this adventure by flying into Vegas. That was our first stop. Without further ado, let's get on with this adventure. Got our car, let's go. We're so excited. Are you so excited? So after settling into the hotel, our first stop was to Machine Gun Vegas. Boys wanted to shoot some guns, so we picked out a package and boy did they have fun. Perfect! So it is 4.20 Vegas time, and it is, what, 7-ish Michigan time? Yeah. Made it here, 97 degrees. Full kitchen. Full kitchen, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Microwave, stove, everything. Could be left now, but when I'm playing video games. And this is the boys' room for tonight. For real? No way. Video everything? Yep, got to video everything. What do you guys think of the first day? This has been awesome. So what did you do with the most fun today? Shotguns. Shotguns? What was your favorite gun? Uh, AK. AK? Caleb? Yeah. Favorite gun? Same. AK. What was the name of the place? Uh, Las Vegas. MGV. Machine Gun. Machine Gun Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. Very cool place. So next stop was down to the strip so we could eat at a casino's buffet. I want to see how excited Caleb is. He's so excited. Yeah, you can't rent this one for twenty dollars, Jared. This one's ninety.
So we got upgraded from a Pathfinder from an, to an Explorer. And it's a good thing we did because we needed all the room. Then we got a place to put some food. And we bought a small cooler just to carry a few drinks. This is working out really well. Good morning and happy Sunday. It is Sunday the 9th. This is our view. There's our hotel we stayed at. Really nice place. Set up like a condo. Loved it. As you can hear, planes flying over constantly. Probably gonna get a little loud. Probably have to cut. So, today's agenda, Hoover Dam. Gonna go and see that. Can't do the tour because they're closed on Sunday. Ah. So we're gonna walk around, try to see some things. Um, 40 to 50 mile an hour gust winds, 95 to 100 degrees. Should be interesting day. Um, then from there, we've got about a five or six hour drive until we get to the Grand Canyon. So we'll be able to see a couple things today, hopefully. And then from there, we're gonna end up um, finding our hotel and then we'll have all day tomorrow to explore the Grand Canyon area. Maybe do some hikes, so we'll see how today goes. So we have our first casualty. Jared can't find his sunglasses. Imagine that. Really? <laughs> We're always going to lose well, something. That's the way it goes. <laughs> well, another thing we forgot with the rental car. We remembered this so we can have our uh, phone up here while we're doing turning directions but we forgot these guys so you can charge your phone so thank you Walmart ran there and bought a couple of these so we've got enough to charge devices while we're driving It to the park we went from 100 degrees and as we drove here it's down to 68 and it is 6 58 p.m. and the Sun is just starting to go down so we looked at the overlook took a quick peek and it's amazing the color difference so we're gonna spend more time here tomorrow
nervous. Yeah, I'm definitely nervous. Take a picture of a shadow oh. on the rock. Get next to him. The Grand Canyon was just gorgeous when we got there that night. And with all the frequent stops of cars on the side of the road, it reminded me a little bit of Yellowstone. Like reindeer. That's a picture. Yeah. So the path for the rim trail is right along the canyon. That's video. Video? I caught a lizard like Dad said I wouldn't. What is it? A lizard. What's the species? What's the scientific name? Yeah, what's the scientific name? Scientific of? name? Dad said Jared wouldn't catch it. <laughs> Jared caught it. Put your finger by. I'm not stupid. Canyon, it was a quick stop by Navajo Bridge and off to Page, Arizona. Horseshoe Bend was gorgeous guys and highly recommended at sunset.
Zion was my favorite park, I couldn't wait for all the gorgeous hiking we were going to do in this park. hike in Zion was absolutely my favorite hike of all times. It just had gorgeous views from the top, even halfway up from this view you're seeing in this side. Just that was my favorite shot of the whole trip. We just thoroughly enjoyed it. Did we go all the way to the end? No, we didn't, but we got pretty close. After that hike, guys, the hot tub felt really great that night. So we chilled out that night, had a nice meal in town, and got ourselves packed up and ready to head out to Bryce the next day. So from Zion, we had just a short, about two, two and a half hour drive to Bryce Canyon National Park. After settling into our hotel, the first stop was Mossy Cave Waterfall. This is a highly recommended, really short walk, easy for kids. It was a lot of fun and gorgeous. So that night we did the dark night sky where they set up telescopes in the parking lot and let you view the planets. It was really fun and very educational. The next day was a big hike. We took that down into the canyon, saw Thor's hammer, a couple other beautiful sights. We were chased by rain and thunderstorms the whole time. So the Navajo Loop Trail, it started out nice and sunny. As we got down into the canyon, the clouds started to rumble and eventually opened up on a little rain on the hike out. This is probably my second favorite hike of the whole trip just because there's such a variety of landscape and things to look at. It was just amazing. The way the trees grow down in the bottom of the valley was astounding. Oh, sorry. Nope. <laughs> You're going to be YouTube famous now. <laughs> well, we had a little bit of rain 
It started to spitter and sputter. I got back to the hotel and had to rest my feet. I had a really bad blister by this time. Stop was Capitol Reef Park in the Gifford House. We had to stop in for a little pie and some ice cream. Goblin State Park, we swore we saw like a little cold air funnel or something. In the middle of your screen there, you can see it. But to us Michiganders, never seen a tornado, we thought, well, maybe, maybe not. But we were chased by rain all afternoon. of the goblins in Utah and these things are the craziest thing you've ever seen. They let people crawl all over them. You can see behind me they are just round and bubbly and kind of made out of clay. So pretty amazing. These things were everywhere and they went on for miles. We just had a lot of fun just wandering through them and seeing different people and seeing seeing the different formations. We couldn't go too far down into this little valley because we had the threat of thunder and lightning around us everywhere. So we spent a bunch of time there and got back on the road. Next stop would be Canyonlands.
Utah was definitely my favorite state to drive. There's just diversity, and every turn was just spectacular. So our next stop was definitely heading to Arches National Park and our final stop on our tour. standing in north window standing right inside it it's got a nice view out the back there's about five more arches as you can see there and there and there amazing views got a nice view of the valley and then the turret So this is turret, arch, and you look here, on that's north, and that is south. Pretty cool view from here. So this is why you get here early. We got up at 6 o'clock. So we headed into town and did a little shopping, got a nice meal, and planned out our last and final day. Heading back into arches to see the double arch and a few others on our list. Be our last day and we're heading home the next day after that. One of our last hikes for the trip, we're at the Double Arch. Family is sitting right back there. Jared already climbed to the top. <laughs> He's trying to hide from me. Hello. This thing is pretty awesome. You can see behind me. There we go. It's pretty cool. two-week trip of a lifetime with your parents. Everything went well until the flights at the very end got canceled. How do you feel? Stop. Coming out so kinky. Yeah, he is not happy. He is calling the girlfriend right now and he is definitely really upset. Stuck in an airport for 10 hours. So what do we do for entertainment? Ride the escalators and look at the artwork on the back wall. What all we got to do? <laughs> Hi. So far I think I've rode this thing probably, I don't know, 10 times. She's screwing around back there. I don't know what she's doing. He's back over here. He's messing around too. Anyway, 
we're bored, bored out of our minds. Can't wait for the flight to get going. Talk to you later. We're back after a delay in our flights. We're back. Kel, what were your top three things you enjoyed on the trip? Guns, Grand Canyon, and the the windy canyon or whatever. The antelope. Yeah, antelope, that. okay. Jared, what are your top three things that we did? I don't remember. Angel's Landing, Machine Gun Vegas, and there was one other. The whatever canyon. The Antelope Canyon, the Slack Canyons. Yep. 